Hi traders, I just finished trading a few minutes ago and I want to share some insights about what happened today with Kodak and the way I traded it. So here's Kodak uh, as it was live. Now my basic idea with Kodak is I'm going to have a trade today. It's my main candidate today. And why? Because it's up like 80%. Well, first of all, it is Kodak. There's not much behind this company. And if you want to research a little bit about what Kodak is doing, yes, it has some very good news today, but I don't expect it to continue higher. I expect it to come down. I expect to short it. So I'm running this video, as you can see right now, a little bit faster so you can see what happens. So Kodak was trending higher by now. I am still expecting for a failure. I don't think it's going to continue higher. So I'm looking for a clear... Um, technical formation which I could short and I did mention in my trading room today that I'm going to short it like very big size and now take a look at Kodak here look at this support level at around 1310 my initial idea is to short it right under 1310 because in my opinion once it's going to get there it's going to look like it's about to fail and then I'm going to add even more if it comes under uh, 13 which is the whole number I'm a little bit concerned about the whole number so right now I'm watching it and it seems to me it's about to fail so watch it closely I'm about to short 20,000 shares so here we go watch the buyers watch the sellers I'm about to short and I'm shorting now and it just went under a bit pulled back up a little bit but again I'm not expecting it to move higher so I'm waiting patiently it is coming down and I'm expecting it now hoping it's going to come down under 13 and if it does I'm going to add another 20,000 shares so I'm expecting to short it in a very big size if it comes down under 13 and look at it watch, watch it right now is it it is moving lower and here comes the 13 and under so I just added another 20,000 shares my average price now is 12.94 so I actually didn't quite get it at 13 with my second trade but it still is looking very nice so now in my opinion it's going to fail but you know the stock is really just trending lower so I don't really know what to expect and it did take it a little bit time now watch the PL here you can see I'm up like $12,000 right now but I think it's going to start pulling back up so it still is uh, fast forward right now so you can see what happened during the next uh, few minutes and then it would do another interesting move there but just uh, before we get to uh, the, the third uh, click of the button here uh, the thing is with Kodak is that you know uh, people expect a stock like Kodak to continue higher. It had great news today. Now, what the majority, the vast majority of the people are expecting for a stock like Kodak is that to, to continue higher. Theoretically, I should do the same because why because it's a gap and go usually when stock is gapping up that much it should go it should move higher well not when it's up like 80 percent we had several stocks like this in the trading room where we shorted why because there's going to be a lot of profit taking and there's another very important rule is that ordinary people who buy stocks like Kodak are not supposed to make money usually investors lose money especially on the first day so you know big company Kodak but there's nothing really behind this company not much now look at the way it fails it just failed to move higher it's coming slightly lower and now I see I really feel like this is going to be a winner so I'm getting ready to short it now and now I'm short 60,000 shares the last 20,000 were not um, uh, planned but since it's failed to move high since, since it failed to move higher so nicely you can see this spike up here and failure now it's coming down now I expect it to come under the lows now the lows you can see here is 1240 and my next target should be as close as possible to 12. so again a very big company that looks like it's about to go sky high but you know that's what investors usually do they buy companies where they have big new, good news about where their friend told them that they, he just made a lot of money trading this stock he just made 80 percent in one day and then they buy but you know when most investors are buying in stocks they would usually I mean think about your history if you had this kind of an experience just remember the days before you became a trader remember the days where you were buying into stocks where you were you know on the first day down like 10 percent how many times it happened to you probably 80 percent of the time why is that because when investors are buying usually the professionals are selling it's the hedge funds who are selling it's 
traders like me who are selling because we don't expect it to continue higher before there will be some profit taking. How long will the profit taking last? I don't know. I only know that it is very likely to come down. Now look at the way it just came down under the lows. It's getting to my first target. It just is close to 12. It really touched 12, 11. And the first sign of a pullback, I'm going to get my partial. And I think it's just happening now. And I'm clicking the button and I just had an amazing trade in uh, Kodak. Now, if you want to take a look at the result, that's the end of the day result. I'm still riding, as you can see here, 400 shares uh, short, but over $37,000 in Kodak. I did have two losers today, though, uh, STPK and ZM. But, you know, I didn't really trust them more than just normal or even less size. So they were like an OK trades, which I lost. But ever once in a while, you get this one big trade where you really, really like. And I did mention that in the trading room, I said I'm going to take it with extremely high size today. Very big size, I mentioned. That doesn't, I don't usually say that in the trading room. It's very rare that I would say something like that. Maybe once in every few weeks, maybe more than that. But Kodak looked to me like it's up 80%. It's likely to come down. Let's wait for a failure. Now, what would happen if it would not fail and just continue? Nothing. I just wouldn't have a trade, right? I, I'm not, nobody's forcing me to short it. So only if I am right and I'm seeing, in fact, that Kodak is coming down and looks like it's about to fail and everything clicks in together. You know the fundamentals of Kodak. Uh, the, the company really has nothing to, no business to do. It's, it's owned by so many shareholders now uh, since the Eastman, Eastman family left uh, the company. It really sold to... Uh, Every share is probably held by a different person around the world. It's just management and management who's, who's making a lot of money by running this company. And there's really nothing behind this company. So it's a kind of combination of what I personally think in Kodak. And I may be wrong because I'm not an investor and it's not my job to determine where Kodak is going in the next few weeks or few months or few years. I really don't know. I do know as a trader that once a company not as good as Kodak is gapping up by 80%, there will be profit taking. I also know that investors are not likely to make money during the first day or few days. It's likely to come down, there will be profit taking and there were profit taking and I was waiting for this thing to come out and you know, I am right more than 50% of the time. That's the whole idea of day trading. Well guys, thank you very much for watching this and um, if you like this video, please give us a thumb up right here below. That will help more people like you to join us watch uh, these videos and hopefully learn something about the wonderful <laughs> trading uh, environment and uh, maybe something that will help them to become good traders. So I want to thank you for joining. You'll find a lot of links below if you want to join our courses and uh, please give us a thumb up. That would really help our channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.